Hey everyone, Dr. Clearfield here. I'm here to talk about Josh Allen's elbow ulnar collateral ligament injury. And so um, as we can see in the video here, he had that ulnar collateral ligament on the inside of the elbow right over here kind of cranked back. And so that helps support medial aspects of the elbow as well as our ulnar nerve is right adjacent to that as it kind of courses. And so irritation there can cause weakness into the hand, tingling kind of down the fourth and fifth fingers right over here. So it can really cause a lot of instability and difficulty for a throwing athlete such as uh, Mr. Allen there. And so um, when he had that kind of cranked back right over there, he can cause uh, either a partial tear or a disruption uh, sprain of that ligament and so that's definitely what kind of happened. He was still able to play yesterday but as we saw from the outcome uh, could have been a lot better. We'll talk about some options as far as things that we could have done to initially treat and evaluate him on our next video. So we were talking about Josh Allen's ulnar collateral ligament injury and so as far as good things to be able to kind of evaluate it. So you can do an MRI to be able to take a look at that, but MRI is not dynamic. And so actually doing diagnostic musculoskeletal ultrasound can be much more accurate as far as really being able to see, characterize exactly what is kind of happening there. So that's something that we can do point of care in the office to be able to take a look at that stability of the injury, see if there is a tear, do some dynamic testing, see if that causes any kind of further exacerbation of uh, if there is a tear, the extent of it. And so that can also help us figure out prognostically how long do we think they're gonna be out, what are gonna be some of the best options. And we have lots of different things that we can do uh, to be able to help somebody get better. One of the ones that I wanted to highlight is using shockwave. And so extracorporeal shockwave treatment uses sound waves to help put impulses into the tissue to be able to tell the body, hey, get over to this tissue and be able to fix it as quickly as possible. And so in the setting of an acute injury, I can see something where maybe we injure this elbow and I'm thinking, oh, they're gonna be out for six weeks and we treat it here and they're out for a week instead. And so it can make a huge difference as far as being able to kind of do a point of care treatment to be able to kind of get this better so that they can get back on the field. Because in motion is medicine, our goal is to keep you moving, just make sure that we can do it safely.